The question is, can we make it all the way to the end of the day to watch Luminous today? Hoping to get a boarding group for Guardians. Keep everything crossed, one minute to go. One minute to go, one minute to go. We've got a lovely person over here who's gonna help me because I can't pronounce it properly. How do you pronounce the name of this restaurant, please? Akishus. Bella's face, meeting Belle. Hi guys, Re here. Welcome back to my channel, Mummy Before Does Disney, and a full day in Epcot with us. We've got some really exciting things planned to do today. I'm gonna to get the children to tell you all about that, what they've got planned out, and then we're gonna show you what we're wearing before we head out. Now yesterday was a bit of a chilly day. We ended up not staying as late as planned because the temperature dropped significantly, but today I have a strategy. I'm gonna do what I did previously in Disneyland Paris. I have got a bag packed of Pacamax, additional spirit jerseys, layers, extra socks, all the things. And I'm gonna hire a locker and put it all in there because I do not wanna carry all this stuff around the park with me. But then if the temperature does drop significantly, then we should be able to stay for tonight. So we're gonna do that and we'll let you know how it goes. Although apparently it is a lot warmer today. Kiddos, this is Bella. If you haven't met my children before, if you've not been watching the series, Bella, We've got William, Willipedia, and we've got little Zaza. So first of all, do you want to tell us why you're dressed as princesses and I'm dressed as, can you guess who? Um, we're going to Akashus, the princess dining in the, what? Um, uh, Norway? Norway. The Norway pavilion. pavilion, which is very, very exciting. We'll be showing you all of the food in there, the experience and telling you what you really want to know, which is, is it worth it? What else have you got written down in your planner? These are the children's well, I keep calling them your planners, they're your magical trip activities and memories for kids books. They're basically my magical planner with all the bits that the kids like, aren't they? The planning mm -hmm. pages. But I took out all the boring adulty like booking references and things they don't care about um, and put in a load of kids' activities. So what have we got here, Bells? We've got you wanna do test track again? Yeah. We did trust test track yesterday. You wanna do that again? I think so, yeah. Why is that? Oh, um, because I really enjoyed it and also I want to go in the front. Oh, you want to go in the front? We went in the front last time, didn't we, uh, Zara and myself? And me and Will want to design another car that's better. Okay, <laughs> cool. Because we needed it's to get... Upgrade. Um, Bella's also got on her to-do list Frozen, so that's Frozen Ever After? Yeah. Excellent. And you want to meet Pooh Bear in Christopher Robin's house in the UK Pavilion, which we've only just found out about, and then at 9 o'clock tonight, Luminous, that's the new fireworks in Epcot and character meets you want to meet Elsa and Anna and Pooh Bear. Well, you've got Test Track Mission Space. Yes, that's a good one. I, think, I believe we have a DAS reservation for that. DAS or DAS is Disney's Disability Access Service. I have got a full video explaining all of that, who qualifies, how to use it, all that stuff. I will link that below. Oh, you want to do Remy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool, cool. Spaceship Earth. We've got to do Spaceship Earth. It's a classic. And do you want to do Guardians again? Now, we need to explain about Guardians. We managed to get a virtual queue yesterday which you can only get virtual queues for guardians at the moment at 7 a.m or at 1 p.m what boarding group were we yesterday we were like 30 30 ish and then we were called at what was it 12 ish something like that 11 uh, 11 yeah 11 something which we managed and now we'd already made a decision we can't go into the park too early today everyone was really tired yesterday and we didn't want to go into early because we're not going to make it till luminous tonight so i'm there eagerly at 7 a.m pressed refresh got boarding group 19 thought oh we're never going to make it in that early and if you miss your boarding group you can't get another one so i cancelled it at 701 i tried to get another boarding group and they were sold out so i'm really sorry about that but i did call to you i said shall i cancel yeah. it and do it again you're like yeah do it so okay, we wouldn't have made it it's we wouldn't have made it by now at least someone else has got that opportunity now rather than us like hogging that boarding group and not using it we have got another chance at 1 p.m so i've got alarm set at 10 to 1 and 5 to 1 to just refresh 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 so fingers crossed because in spite of the fact that your face on the ride photo is like terrified you were really keen to do guardians again when you? you did enjoy it yeah. the photo yeah um i i i literally had hair in my face you did you couldn't even see my reaction guardians was epic it was zara what have you got on your list Let me zara's see. got an extensive list oh zara has got an extensive list you've got meet poo guardians luminous frozen creations does that say creations oh, yeah. oh that's um, the shop creations. because the girls have decided they probably do want 
the a figment, figment munchlings. munchlings that we saw yesterday. You want to meet Anna. You want to do mission space. We need to find out if you're tall enough for the bigger mission space now because there's two layers. There's two is, levels. There's the green and the orange. One meter twelve. I think she needs to be Ooh. on like one meter. Ooh, Saz, we'll have something. to find out when we get there if you're tall enough for the other uh, level. If not, we'll take you orange. on the green one. Okay, so super quick outfit check and then we're gonna go. William's got a Guardians t-shirt on under his spirit jersey just in case we actually manage to get Guardians again. Zara is dressed as Cinderella in her pink dress and Bella is dressed as Belle in her yellow dress. And if you haven't guessed, I am Sleeping Beauty or Aurora when she thinks she's called Briar Rose and she's stuck in the woods before she realizes she's a princess. Because we are, of course, going to princess dining. We're all wearing sketches because we find them quite comfy. Um, and even with those, our feet were Disney tired yesterday. So it is currently 22 11. Let's get moving into the park because we've got a lot to get done today. The question is, can we make it all the way to the end of the day to watch Luminous today? You think so? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. Let's go. Through security, we're not even yet scanned in the park. Security line was much longer. I'm totally incapable of getting through security without being beat to be scared, searched. My glasses case has a magnet in it. I have 11 billion batteries and cameras and a charger bank. So all of those get picked up. Apparently if you walk through with like your arms out like this, like just holding like your one camera, that's gonna be a problem. Then that would work, you wouldn't get beeped. I got too much stuff to do that. So I always end up getting birds for security although i've got to say it never takes that long that's the longest it's ever taken in Walt Disney World we're just looking at locker rental they've got the standard size for ten dollars the large size which should take two bags for twelve dollars and the jumbo size which should take three bags for $15 per day. So we've just paid. Luckily I had a physical card with me because you did have to swipe it and everything else seems to be contactless or they take US bills or you can redeem a voucher, which I'm assuming you can get in the shop. This is the card I use abroad because it doesn't have any currency conversion fees. Uh, not working with anything, but if you grab one of these, then I get five pounds added to my account, you get five pounds added to yours. I use it at home abroad. I just use the free plan and I highly recommend. We've gone for the jumbo locker and I've got to say it's blinking huge, so. Please, please with our choices. So just for reference, that goes way, way back. It is huge. So this is gonna be something that we're gonna do most days now, I think, especially yeah, I think when we've got loads of- that was a good choice, the jumbo, because it it's was huge. only three pounds. Um, three dollars extra. Three dollars extra Compared to one. And the large. a lot smaller and we can fit yeah. loads in there, so. It's worth it to save our backs. The girls and I are just gonna lose the lose. Uh, my husband's taken it upon himself to help other guests select lockers. He's doing a fine job. We're heading to our first DAS, or DAS reservation. It's a pre-booked reservation for Mission Space. We're gonna check if Zara is tall enough. Um, if she's not tall enough, then we'll split and we'll do, some do the orange, some do the green, which are different intensities of attraction. But hopefully she's uh, she's big enough for the for the ferocious version, because she is quite, uh, she's quite hard as nails now. Um, and then after that, we have booked Frozen, because we're heading over to Norway anyway, because that is where we're dining. Kids also want to go to the UK Pavilion to meet Pooh Bear in Christopher Robin's room. Really interested to see what this princess dining is going to be like. Wonder whether the food is going to be to the children's liking, or if it'll be a little bit like the princess dining that we did in Paris, where the experience was amazing, but the food was a little fussy for the children's taste. On our way to Mission Space, we have just found the Walt the Dreamer statue. So we've just gotten this, this rather quick line for a photo. It is literally just in front of Spaceship Earth in this new little garden area. It just seems like a really special place. 
Walt never got to see Epcot, but it was kind of his dream and his vision. I think he would have liked it. Well, we've measured her, and Zara is tall enough for the orange mission. Okay, can we go on the Mars one? Because I am. We have never been orange as the Mars one. So let's go do it. Let's let's go on a mission to Mars. Yeah, you go. experience that any astronaut candidate will ever have. Before you decide if it's right for you, let me introduce you to your spacecraft. Oh your mission is to get to that landing site. Your flight path to Mars will take you around the moon for a lunar gravity assist. But even with that slingshot, your trip will take three months. So we'll have to put you into hypersleep. Hypersleep activated. Don't worry, it'll only seem like a second or two to you. I'll give you a wake up call when you get to Mars. T minus three minutes and counting. <laughs> okay, now listen up. Here are your assignments. Navigator. You'll fire the thrusters for lunar orbit insertion and for descent. You're a navigator. Pilot, Ooh, on my I'm signal, pilot. I'll need you to trigger the second stage rocket. You'll also deploy the shield. Are you okay? Hi. Are you okay? You guys, like, can you reach this? That's when it's time to, to try and land. So we all have to join in. They've announced that they've included space sickness bags just in case. Hopefully not many people need to use those. Proud to be a part of this historic liftoff. for the set. 
That was intense, doesn't even cover it. The G-force on my face was like, whoa. <laughs> Zara was not first on that. She said she preferred the green one. I might actually be with her on that one. Zara, you preferred the green one. Mm -hmm. I'm going on the green one. That was like, I think I'd rather roller coasters over that. That was intense. So we've just come through the space area to make sure we've got signal. We're standing in the space shop. William is refreshing, 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 hoping to get a boarding group for Guardians. Keep everything crossed. One minute to go. One minute to go. One minute to go. One minute to go. Are we going to get it, Will? Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? It's a nerve wracking time. Refresh, refresh. Do you want to go stand outside? Are you are you okay here? It seems it's it's okay. Loads fast enough here. We're at full bars. He's literally clicking. Look, his, his thumb is like. I, I have no patience. No patience. No patience. One minute medical. to go. Less than one minute to go. Keep looking. Don't take your eyes off it. Well, don't take your eyes off it. Oh, Luca! Ah. Luca! He's literally, I'm literally like, he's fast. Oh, here we go. 114, 118 oh. minutes. We got a board. That means room. we're gonna we get it, go time. there at four o'clock. Perfect. So that's gonna fit with our dining reservation. Yeah, that'll be like straight afterwards. Do it. Yes. yes. We got got to do it. Wandering over to the World Showcase, to the Norway Pavilion, to go meet Elsa and Anna on Frozen Ever After. Booking Lightning Lanes through Genie Plus or reservations through DAS staff, you need to scan through all of the checkpoints in a local ride before it lets you book the next one. So, some uh, attractions just have one, Frozen actually has two. So, now we scan through the second one. I've just uh, booked Remy because that's an 80 minute wait, and we've got a few things we want to do before then, including eating. So, a lot of that time standing in the virtual queue will actually be sitting down eating, which obviously is much easier for the children who struggle with queuing. There is actually more of a queue in this bit of the frozen attraction than we've experienced before. It's quite slow moving. But that is just because it's the merge point. It's, it is the merge point. It's going to be... No, fast. and there are, even with lightning lane dance everything, there's always a portion of the queue that you generally have to queue for after that merge point. Only a little bit. I feel like Epcot is quite busy today though because just going on how long it took for bag search, it was a lot busier today than yesterday. We yeah. just came in a little also, bit later, I guess. Yesterday, cold. Today, uh, all warm. the people were that so everyone who went to Everyone was like, yesterday. should we go today? No, let's stay home. Let's go tomorrow instead. And here they are. Yeah. Yeah. 
magic winter show. It's summer snow for Spanish. dining reservation and we've come to the Royal Summer House to hope to meet Elsa and Anna. Now I looked on the DAS DAS um, booking and this is not available for DAS. So apparently it's only a 20 minute wait at the moment. The children don't do well <laughs> with queuing but they have got their activity books with them so they are going to keep themselves busy with making lists um, they've got places to draw pictures of characters they're hoping to meet. You can write in your magical memories, Belle. I don't think you finished doing that from yesterday yet, have you? You can write in yesterday's magical memories and tick off what we've done? Yeah. And make sure there's nothing missing that we want to do. Well, do you want to go through yours, see if there's anything that you tick things off that we want to do? Like Guardians, were really, you really want to do that, yeah. don't you? So I'm really glad we got support group for that.
was a really lovely experience. And it's worth noting that um, they seem to have a new system for a few of the meets now. So in the princesses, they have the same in Magic Kingdom and just there. It's like a constant flashing, like an automated photographer. So you need to make sure that your kids are standing, not with their back to the flashing, otherwise they won't be in the back. Then to collect your pictures, you just simply scan your Magic Band or park ticket on the way out. Okay guys, I think it's just about time for our dining reservation. So let's go princess dining in Norway. I think it's called Akershus. Is that how you say it, Bella? Yeah. Am yeah. I saying it right? Every time I say it, I'm just like, this doesn't sound right. Um, it's here in the Norway pavilion. So we've been quite organized actually. Three activities in one pavilion, one after the other. We've got a lovely person sure? over here who's gonna help Today? me because I can't yeah. pronounce it properly. How do you pronounce the name of this restaurant, please? Akershus. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bella, who is it? Mm. In her goofy dress. Goofy dress. That's what you were hoping for, isn't it? You were hoping for her. I'm quite happy too because I want her autograph. You do. Well, you've never you've met Bella a few times, but you've never had her autograph because of COVID. No way. Pansy. The girls are so excited. So princess dining wise, we've done princess dining in Paris. We did Cinderella's Royal Table, which we loved, didn't we? The food was lovely, the ambience was lovely because it's inside the castle. But again, it was early 2022, so it's just Cinderella appeared and waved in, in the corner. That's also a really difficult one to get a reservation for, and obviously we've managed to get this. If you want to see exactly how to book dining reservations, I did a full in detail blog explaining everything you need to do, how to get the best reservations, the whole process explained, so you can check out that video. I will link it below if you want to see that afterwards. Sorry, Bob, what did you want to say? Oh. You've forgotten, haven't you? <laughs> oh, wait. Right. I think no one to know if there was any mocktails. So you want to know sure. if there's any mocktails? Okay. So we've just had our server come over and explain it all to us. So she, the princesses are a surprise and there's a fanfare and music and you get to guess who's coming out and obviously Belle is the first one that we're going to experience. Belle is thrilled. It's family style dining. We've got the dining plan. So we've got, for over, everyone over 21, there's an alcoholic drink included and we've ordered something very exciting looking. And then Will, because he's under 21, he's on the adult dining plan because he's over the age of 10, gets a smoothie and then everyone gets a soda type drink. The girls always go for the lemonade, the Minute Maid, which is like the flat lemon. You've gone for a lemonade because you get a soda as like well as an alcoholic drink. But just, just be aware that they don't have Fanta as of now. They don't have Fanta at the moment. <laughs> yeah, like, oh my goodness, the, the Fanfare and it's Aurora apparently. Whoa! Today I'm getting all of them right. What? Were you right? Yeah, I'm getting all of them right. And do you know what? She's got a pink dress like you. <laughs> Bella's face meeting Belle. Oh. So the first of the family style dining is come out. We're supposed to unroll one of these and spread on the cinnamon butter and then roll it back up. Will, are you going to give it a go? Here you go. Can I just eat it by itself? If you want to, darling, you don't need the cinnamon butter. What's it taste like? Yeah, I do it. Is it like a pancake type thing? Yeah. Yeah? 
Like a crab. Right, okay. And then we've also got some salad. That's clever. You don't like it? That's fine. Welcome for trying it. The music. We think this means Tiana's the next princess. Oh my goodness, look at my drink. I'm um, I'm actually just going to ask you, but I was going to say about your dress. Try it, Brad. Yes, but it's before you realised you were a princess. Yeah, that's when right. When you were stuck in the forest. You're familiar with my story. I am. Yeah. I'm on a tour again. And what was it like finding out you were a princess, not having known for 16 years? It was quite a surprise. I bet thing. it was quite surprising. Yes. yes. <laughs> So William, have you tried your smoothie? Give us, William ordered a strawberry smoothie. Give us the verdict, welcome to the verdict. It looks delicious. Is it salad? Is it good? Is it good? Well if Cinderella comes out, of course you can. Of course. So I've got some salad, but I've also got this rather fancy looking blue drink, which is called the Northern Lights. Flashing Cube. It's called the Northern Lights. They are $20 to purchase, but they are included as your alcoholic drink if you've got the dining plan. Moment of truth for the flashing blue drink. Mmm. Ooh, ooh, that's strong. It's delicious though, it's actually quite well balanced. It's um sort of citrusy orangey. Mmm. That's actually quite refreshing. Go on, dear, give it a go. Sip your fancy, sparkly blue princess drink. And tell us what you think. Mm. Interesting. Nice, huh? Actually, quite pleasant, is it? It tastes quite it refreshing. Tastes, it's quite refreshing, but also I have a feeling that it just tastes like it's quite potent. Goes really well with lettuce. <laughs> oh, who's this song? Snow White! Tiana. Oh, Tiana's over there. Where's the Wally Whip? Snow White's the other princess. So, how many of those have you had now? This is my fourth? Well, that means it's good. It means that you must be enjoying it. Yes, I am. And also, there's no other food other than a salad on the table. This is the so start. I'm it's the starter it course. Salad, it's the starter course. Yeah. I've got to say, dear, you always joke about eating salad and never actually eat salad. You're actually eating salad. What's going on? Because you don't do salad. You don't do salad. What's I going on? I don't do much salad, but the secret is it's full of salad dressing, which is really nice. Yeah, it is actually. It is very like rich and tasty salad dressing. <laughs> Chicken, I don't know. Chicken With dumplings in it. It's got mash and meat. I'm trying that. We've got some meatballs, lingonberry, okay, corn dog, mac and cheese. Just try it if you don't like it. Salmon and green beans. And we've asked to keep the salad because it's delicious. Oh, try a corn dog. I don't think you've tried a corn dog before, have you? Uh, uh, uh. Is it hot? Careful. Yeah. Hot, really hot. Nice? Yeah. No, I'm not sure. Soon. Sausage. It's like a sausage, is it? No, I like the sausage. Do you like it? I like the sausage. But not the bit round it. So it's like a sausage with a chicken nugget skin. What's that noise? That's a bit. Cinderella. Is that Cinderella? Cinderella, is it? No way. What? That's no white, Daddy. That's no white. Well, you know what I mean? They all look the same and all that. Dancing together, if I ask very nicely, 
My friend Grumpy will even play the pipe organ for us too. Can you believe that? Should I give you a sign right there? Uh, right here. She's going to yes, draw a picture of, of you. Um, Are you really? Oh, that's so very wonderful. Something to do on the plane home. Yes, I think that's a lovely idea. My, how very exciting. Perhaps you'll have to teach Joby how to draw too. I think that their portraits would look lovely if they added some of that diamond dust that they find from the diamond line out there. I think it would look simply wonderful. You'll have to join us sometime, right? The cottage. And we can all sing and dance together too. Well, I can't wait to tell the seven dwarfs about both of you, alright? It was lovely to see you. Bye! Bye! So the, the food's actually really nice. It's not necessarily what I would have ordered off the menu, but as it's all here family style to try it, it's quite a nice way of eating. The salad is divine. I've just asked for another bowl of that because it's all you care to enjoy, so you can order more of anything you like. Zara, rather surprisingly, is enjoying like the stew or a soup. You're actually, you're really enjoying that. She's not that fussed on the rest of it. William always enjoys like stews and soups. Not something I normally go for. Oh, Ariel's twirling. Twirling. And Bella. Welcome. Welcome. Hang on, we'll carry on in a second. There was a princess promenade. Anyway, we've um, I'm loving the salad. We've asked for some more of that. The meatballs are actually very nice. The mash is really creamy. Everyone's really enjoying it. Probably a little bit creamy for me. But Daddy Four's enjoying it so much. She's just ordered a massive lump of mash on its own. Zara, you're you're not first on most of it, but you're enjoying the stew, aren't you? Bella? Maybe you should No, Daddy Four's literally just ordered I a big lump of mash. mash. Bella, what are you enjoying? The mash. salmon. The mash, mostly the mash. William's enjoying mac and cheese. Thoughts on the rest of it? Um, the stew and the and the meatballs and the corn dogs as well. They're good. Oh, good. Yes. I'm also quite enjoying this um, red like cabbagey stuff. Yummy. Okay. Oh, thank you. Are we singing? Day to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bella Zara William. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Robert, I'm just going to say now because you should say your wish out loud. By the way, we had birthday cupcakes because they aren't any birthdays. Bella's was literally just before we left. Williams and Zara's are literally as soon as we get home. What's your birthday wish, Belle? Um, to go on another visit. That, well, that's a good wish. And you should say your wishes out loud. I wish you? for that twice, so then so it has know. a higher chance to happen. Oh, good, good one. Go on, then. Can, can really go on, Zara. Oh, now you push mine. Go on, then. What's your wish? Like the black blue. I wish, um, to have a great trip. Oh, good. Go on, then. William, what did you wish? Disney trip. No, the treasure. Oh, the treasure. California. California. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All good wishes. They made for us pink for me, Zara, Lilac, and green. So, you're going to eat it with a spoon or do the cupcake hack? Cupcake hack. I'm not sure. Do you want me to do the cupcake hack for you? No, I think I'm actually okay. Oh, is it? That's, it's good, but you won't like, I won't like it because it's me. I'm going to have to try it. Okay. What's this in? Rice cream. Rice cream, nice apparently. Rice cream. Ha ha! Do you like rice pudding? Yeah. Do you rice pudding? Oh, okay. I mean, I'm not sure. I don't do rice pudding anyway. I'm going to try this one, though. Go on then, Belle. So, for the snack hack. Sorry, I need to do it to make carefully. To do a cupcake and not get it all over your face. I'm just going to get it all over your face. You rip off the bottom of the cupcake. Zara's just gonna get it all over her face, she's decided. You make a cupcake sandwich and then you go for it. Go on, Belle. Ah -ah. <laughs> the other hack is to eat with a spoon. Good hack, good hack. Not copyright. Uh, there we go, so you're, you're doing the cupcake hack. Okay. All right, I'm giving them the, the, the what did she say? It was a blackberry mousse and chocolate mousse. 
Anything too fluffy and like moussey, any too, like, I'm not into, but if it's like cakey mousse, so is this no, you still cakey mousse. Cakey mousse. Mm. I like that. No! I like that. You didn't want me to like it because you want more, you little piggy. Yeah, that's <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to call You know your brother too well. Well, yeah, he's uh -huh. an artist. The I thing is, it's all you care to enjoy. Did you get another one? He's either thing. <laughs> he's probably... Nothing will be left. What's the verdict on the, the, like, the rice pudding you have? You've just shoved so much cake in your face you can't speak, so you're going to have to gesture. How many out of ten for the rice pudding you have? Thank you. Oh, eight. Hey, for the rice pudding one. Okay, how about the chocolate one? Because there's so much food in your face, it's going to be a while. Really? You prefer the rice pudding one to the chocolate one? Gosh, did not see that coming. You're going to be so... No, wipe in your face and your spirit, Josie. No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, now it <laughs> Oh, William. I'm free. How many times a day do I have to say, oh, William? More than you can imagine. <laughs> Comparing this restaurant to the Princess Dining in Paris, but I would say that this, the children ate a lot more here than they did in the Paris one. They got to order their own meals. The desserts were very pretty in Paris, weren't they? The children had like a chocolate shoe. So the desserts were more princessy. But this, all you care to enjoy, is a really nice way to try different things you've never normally like I don't think I would have ordered any of the food today just if it was off a menu item but I enjoyed most of it I've got to say and the thing I really like about the character dining we've experienced in Florida compared to the way they run it in Paris is they come around a different cast member comes around and checks who have you met have you met all the characters and just checks in that every guest has met every character and i feel that that takes the pressure off as a parent trying to make sure that you know when you if, have you taken your children to the toilet or whatever you don't want to miss any characters and it feels like you get that really good experience the characters also seem to take quite specific routes from the restaurant it just seems to be run in a very slick way would you agree mm -hmm. any other thoughts on the different you know which one did you prefer because i know you were actually all the five of us didn't complain about the food being too fussy in the Paris Princess Dining. Yeah. But so which but which food I did mean, you prefer? I mean I just liked it being fancy and all that. It was, but which like food this didn't feel as fancy, but it was good. I was I mean. I've got to be honest, I wasn't sure if the children would eat any of the food on this menu. I did look at the menu, but much like the Paris one, the, this reservation was more about the experience than the menu. The fact that they've eaten it has been a massive bonus. I like this one more because I met Belle. Of course, baby. Belle is your favourite, isn't she? I'm thrilled for you. And your face when you met her was everything. And this is Atina. She's been taking care of us. She's done such a fantastic job. So thank you so, so much. It's been a really, really lovely experience. Thank you. Can I get on with you? Of course. Thank you. <laughs> and to watch the second half of our magical day in Epcot, click on the video on screen now or check out the whole series from the beginning or check out some early release videos in my Patreon. See you real soon. Bye.